Hey guys, I'm Rehane and today I'm going to show you how we can pass data navigation component in Kotlin. Let's start. When using navigation, you can define arguments for a destination and then attach data to a navigation operation. For example, a user profile destination might take a user ID argument to determine which user to display. For that, we're using safe args. You know, safe args is a Gradle plugin that generates a simple object and builder classes that enable type safe. An argument passing between destination. In order to ensure type safety, safe args is strongly recommended for navigating and passing data. Okay, uh, first of all, I need uh, add dependency in my Gradle file level here. Okay, and let me update this one and add. Uh, View binding here. Okay, great. Sync it. Uh, and also, as I said before, uh, for passing data, I want to use a safe arcs plugin. So add it here. And also, I should add class path into my Gradle module level here. And then sync it. Okay, uh, sync it's done. So far, so good. Uh, here, I want to create a two fragments. So let me first create a package. And inside this package, I want to add two fragments. First fragment. Let me delete some unused code. Yes, that's great. And add another fragment, my second fragment here. Yes, good. And also here, just let me add view ending. This is my first fragment, so this one binding here should inflator container. And false. And here pass just binding dot root. Yes, great. And also let me add uh, this function on view created. Okay. So again for my second fragment. At binding, yes, and here inflator container and false, yes, and here and also let me add on view created yes this one okay I uh, just need add some view into my XML for first fragment I want to add some edit text and also uh, one button for sending data into my second fragment
Yes. Rap content, rap content. Here I can use enter name. That's okay. And top top. Mm. Oh, because of that, I can change this one and use constraint layout and here top top parent uh, and and parent and start to start of parent and so here I need set id okay and also here I can copy and paste it for my another text view that I want for age. Okay, and top bottom, yes. Okay, let me delete it. Yeah, and the last view, I need button. Yes, this one. Wrap content, wrap content. Send data. Top bottom of H. Yes. Start to start of parents and end of parents. Okay, just let me add ID here. Oh, sorry. Send uh, data, yes. And here I can set margin top, yes. I guess it's good. And copy this one for. Okay, great. And also, yes, is good. And for my second fragment, I just want to have two text view for showing my data that come from the first activity. So first, let me change this part. Yes, into construct layout, and here. ID TV name and uh, can be null and top top of parent start start of parent and end of parent okay just let me put wrap contents and wrap contents yes and i need another one for age tv age and this part top bottom and so i can put some margin here top margin yes Okay, let me and now I can pack. Yes, great. Uh, just let me add my navigation here. Main nav, okay, and the resource type should be navigation. Okay, here we can add our fragment, first fragment, and then a second fragment, yes. And my first fragment should be the start destination. Okay, now I want to add my argument. 
second fragment will receive data from first fragment. So we have to add an argument to second fragment. For that, in the navigation graph, select a second fragment. And then from uh, the right side here, you can see we have arguments here. And with the plus button, I can add my arguments. So here I can put my name and uh, select the type of my argument. Uh, here I want to have a string and then add. Here we can see and another argument. Oh, sorry age I want to pass it as an integer here you can see okay guys and now there is a uh, important point after adding your argument here you should rebuild uh, your project why because after building actually after rebuilding your project uh, Kotlin create automatically a class for you and with that class you can pass your data from uh, your destinations so it's so important uh, and later I will show you uh, how class uh, can help us I should add uh, my fragment host here and I do that just let me change it to fragment container view yeah this one is better the second step i should here uh, send my data to my second fragment so let's do it okay here binding that apply inside my uh, binding i want to call Okay, guys, uh, I just forgot something and uh, now I should tell you here. I forgot uh, to create a connection between my uh, two fragments. Here we can see I forgot to add this action here. So please uh, do this and uh, again uh, rebuild your project. And after that, here you can uh, work with your direction. So let me create my direction. First, here you can see if uh, everything is correct in your project, so uh, you can see uh, this direction in your code. And okay. And then after you can see your action here. And here you should pass your argument. Okay, edit name dot text. Okay, dot to a string and uh, my another edit age dot takes dot to a string and then to int. Okay, everything is nice and here I just need call my find nav controller and inside my navigation put my direction okay everything is good so let's go to my second activity for getting uh, information okay here I should uh, create a variable uh, for getting the information from the safe arcs plugin so let me arcs okay second fragment arcs yes this one by nav arcs okay and just I want to have uh, two variable for my name and age parameter. Name. And again, for age. 
zero. Okay. And inside my unview created function, I want to get that parameters args dot. Here we can see I have access to that argument. H, yes, and here I can set my data into my text view. TV name dot text name and TV age dot text. Oh, sorry age and to a string okay okay guys here our project is done and um, we can run our application and see the result of our code okay yes it's run yes here we can see i put a sample name and age and when I click send data my data should send to second fragment and set on uh, the text view yes is right okay guys uh, our project here is done if you have any question please free to ask uh, if you are new in the channel please subscribe my channel leave me comment and uh, all this encourages me to record more and more video. Have a nice day, guys.